Hello everyone. This is the continuation of our student POS system series and in this video we are going to build our backends. Okay? So I hope you have basic understanding of technologies like Node.js, Express.js and database MongoDB. If you have knowledge then it is good. Then let's start our backend. Okay? So I have made a plan.txt file where I have written all the steps that we're going to do in our backend. Number one is create project directory, then create npm project, express server, folder structure, database, error handling setup, API creation. We will create auth API, orders API, tables API, category plus items API, and the last one is payment related APIs. Okay. And then lastly, we will deploy our project on AWS or DigitalOcean. Okay. Anyone which we want. Okay. So let's start with the first step that is to create a project directory. So click on this icon and right here POS backend. Okay. Now we have to now we have to go inside the folder. Okay. And here you have to install all dependencies. And before installing all dependency, you have to set up a npm project. Okay. So to, to set up npm project right here npm init minus y. Okay. So project setup is done now let's install all dependencies okay now one more tape dependency we have to install that is node mon because node mon help us to automatically restart our server when we do some changes in our code okay so right here npm install node mon and save dev okay okay this is done now these two steps is done now let's check here that all the dependencies installed correctly now we have to remove this and here let's write a dev script that is node mod app.js okay and the start script that is node app.js okay now now we have to create an express server in our file name as app.js so just go inside pos backend folder and create a file app.js okay now let's start creating our express server okay so we have to import express first create an app okay so now let's define a port where we want to listen the server here we will write process.env.port okay now let's create a env file dot env okay inside that write port is 8000 okay now here you have to write require dot env dot config then only the env file will work okay okay now we have to define one route okay app dot get write re request dot response and return here response.json hello from us server okay now let's listen our application on port this and we have to pass a callback function Okay. Here, write POS server is listening on this port. Okay. Okay. So we have created our Express server. Let's let's test it. Okay. 
so right here npm run dev okay okay you can see that pos server is listening on port 8000 now let's check it go to your browser and type here localhost 8000 okay yeah you can see that hello from pos server okay so till now everything is good okay now let's check this as done okay now let's create our folder structure okay so go inside pos backend and first of all create a folder config another one is models now the next one is controllers and one more is for routes okay and one more folder is services okay so these are the folders okay so this is also done now the next thing is to set up database okay so to set up database first you have to create a database okay so go to your browser and type here mongodb atlas okay and here click on this if you don't have mongodb account then you have to create it from here okay and then after successful login you will be directed to this page okay so here let's create a database so go to this section and create a new project now name our project as pos data db and next create project okay project creation is done now let's create a cluster just click on this create button and name it as pos cluster and choose the free one okay and create deployment okay okay we are deploying your changes so this will take time let's move to the network access and here edit allow access from anywhere okay let's make it allow access from anywhere and click on confirm now database access we have to create a username here click on atlas admin uh, role and let's click on add user okay okay now let's check whether our database is created or not okay you can see that our cluster is created now let's connect this cluster with our app node application okay so click on connect button and here write driver node.js okay and copy this string and go to your node application inside.env right here mongodb uri okay and just paste this okay here you have to write your db password okay which you created here okay so just write your db password here okay now let's go to the config folder and create a fi file called database database.js okay inside this folder we have to write the configuration to connect our database okay so first of all import mongoose mongoose help us to connect our application to mongodb database okay so import mongoose and create a function connect db it should be async okay now let's wrap this in try catch 
and here data variable connection okay mongoose dot connect here we have to pass the URI okay so process dot env dot mongo mongo db URI okay and here just console it that mongo db connected okay and just write here mongo dot connection dot host okay and in the catch just console error error dot message okay and here you have to write process dot exit now let's export this function so write here module dot export Now let's go to our app.js file and here we have to import our connect TV me method. So just write here const connect TV equal to require config database. Okay. Now let's call this method so that our database will connect okay connect db and call the method and here let's save it now let's check it okay okay you can see that mongodb connected okay so our server is listening on port 8000 and mongodb is connected okay this is cloud database and the data will not stored locally it is on the cloud okay now go to the plan.txt file this is also done so that's all for this video in the next video we will set up our error handling and and then we'll start creating our apis okay so that's all for this video thank you for watching see you in the next video